M0FXB, welcome to my channel. I've got my Yesu 818 here. We are using the, I like using these desk mics. I just find it easier. And this one is very nice looking. M70. Uh, only a, they're not expensive, put it that way. So this program in the background is called FT8CN and it can decode Bluetooth via Vox or Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, depending on your connection. And at the moment, I have not got anything connected to my 818 normally i would use this to use wjstx on my pc okay and this these work great i highly recommend them but right now what we're doing is literally just listening so at the moment you can see the screen is virtually blank okay sorry about any reflection in the background so let look we're on 7074 we've got my 9 to 1 ballon and 20 meter wire connected Let's turn it up. Now, look, this is where you would read the code. Let's turn it up. And see what starts to happen. And this is your waterfall, of course. It's not the cleanest signal, is it? Right, here it goes. So we're starting to receive, even with the uh, quite rough background noise, we're starting to receive FTA. And you see it here as well, the actual call signs as it's received. So if I can clean that signal up. I'm not sure if ATO, IPO would help, but we can attenuate it maybe. Might clean it up. Now the interesting thing is this, let's just get back on frequency. So I'm just experimenting now. So settings wise, we selected Vox on the software. Let's go to settings. So call sign, location, frequency. If you go up, eventually you see Vox. That's the code. That's calling. See? Okay, this is a free program. I'll put the link in the description. Spectrum. We've got a map up here. Obviously, we can't change frequency. We're not cat connected. I'm going to have a go at. But what I'm wondering is this: if can I, if I cat, if I put the cat cable on, without this, without this device, because that's really a Windows device, will it change frequency and TX? And where's it going to get the audio from if I TX? Because I've never tested this on a Yaesu 817 because I'm brand new to this program. If we go back. And the other thing is, let's say we want it to TX. So if we go decode, back on decode, and we want it to TX, we can hold down our finger on one of these stations and click call. It goes into call mode and you could hear it. Now if I effectively lock my, manually lock my mic, and then D, D key, will I get a contact? Because that would be nice and easy, wouldn't it? Because we could just sit here for 10 minutes and just do that. So it's automatically, if you click here, it's automatically trying to contact someone. As soon as I hear it, I put it into PTT. And fingers crossed, obviously make sure your SWR is good. Power-wise, we've got it on quite low power. You've got to remember the D key if you're going to try and do it this way. Let's hit the shortcut. Turn to power. When there's nothing, that's full power. TX. Okay. 
Now the way you can see if you're even getting out is to look on PSK Reporter. I'll just dig key. So I'm just experimenting, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna. I need to connect the cat cable. I do have a cat cable. I've added the the only cable I've got for cat control, and it's gone into the back of the radio. Just here. So I think is working. You know, we're getting decoded. Let's turn the volume right down. We selected cat, as you saw. Cat USB. Go back to decode. I turn the volume down. Look, we're still receiving things. Let's go to spectrum. Calling. Let's put it into TX. And hold it down. Target. Now it's not TXing the radio and it's not changing frequency. So that's the next thing to, to work out is how to do that. Could be the board rate. We've got settings here. We've got board rate and CIV, you know, they're not set. USB, so what do they need to be? So anyway, experimenting, having fun. I've actually disconnected the microphone and we are getting decode. And let's just test it. If I unplug the cable, now, look, you get the error. Connection broken. And then we get an error and it's blank. If I plug back in the cable, now you can buy these cables for like £10, but you do need the... OTG adapter for your for your tablet. Let's plug it back in. I know it's interesting because we are still receiving stuff there. Let's clear it again. Let's leave it like that. Is it still receiving via Vox? Let's stop the TX. It could be that, that it's, that's a TX thing. Let's clear it. Yeah, it seems like it's all blank. Let's plug the cable back in. As soon as I plug the cable in, we get the, do you want to use FT8CN? Put yes, and let's see if it starts to come through. Get the radio on the right frequency, of course. And I thought about selling, oh yeah, connect your COM port. It does that automatically for you. I thought about selling my 818, but in then I thought, well, how can I have fun like I am right now if I sell it? All right, I've got other radios, but it's not an 818 or an 817. And there's a certain experience to playing with an 817. So in the end, I've decided, no, I'm keeping it. So look, we are starting to get decode again, and that will all populate. Um, now, is see that there? Is that someone receiving my... I don't know. Is that a TX? Call. We'll put it onto Call. I don't see how we can call because the radio isn't TXing. And like I said, I tried to do it manually with the microphone. So that would be the next thing to, to suss out is that let's get it TXing. Thanks for watching. Very interesting. Having fun with this FTCA and you, FT8CN. And remember, you don't need an iPad. You can use your Android phone. This is, oh, I keep calling it iPad. You don't need an Android tablet. You can use your. Android phone. Bye for now. 7-3.